Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to take a look at a new Asher knife that I recently received. Um, if you guys follow the channel, you know that I recently posted a video on another Asher knife um, that I recently received as well. And in that video, I mentioned that I have picked up two knives. This is the second one. So if you guys are interested in finding out a little bit about that other knife, I'll leave a link up here and then at the end of the video as well, you can go ahead and check that one out. I do have reviews on a couple of other Asher knives, so if you don't know all about Asher knives, they're a great company, but they have a really awesome um, presence on social media. So um, I always make it a point to follow them because they're always dropping emails and they're dropping uh, on Instagram, you know, they're posting pictures and stuff like that of when their next drops are going to be. And people tend to snatch these guys up very, very quickly because they don't produce a lot of them. So every time that I see them, if I see something that piques my eye or piques my interest, I make sure that I go ahead and pick it up. And like I mentioned, this last drop, they actually dropped three knives and I picked up two out of the three because um, I was really interested in checking out what they had to, you know, to offer. This particular one, I was really interested in because it does have a steel that I don't have a lot of knives. I think I might have one or two knives in this steel. So um, I know it's a, um, a nice performing steel, so I wanted to go ahead and pick it up, especially from a company like Asher Knives. Now, this one came in this... Um, Nice little, um, just plain black box. It has their logo on the front here. And then it just says Asher Knives. That is their website, asherknives.com. As you open it up, you have one little extra thing right here, which is um, an extra set of the springs um, that they do include for their crossbar locking mechanism. So I like the fact that they did include that. And then inside is the knife kind of set into this little foam insert right here. So we'll go ahead and take it out. And here is the knife. Now, this is the Asher Sentry 3.0 model. Now, reading off their website, they say that the 3.0 is the final upgraded version of their original Sentry design. So um, it's cool to see companies, knife companies, kind of stepping it up and making different changes and stuff like that, usually for the better uh, on their knives. And I think if this is the final upgrade version, I think they did a really, really awesome job on this particular one here. So as you can see, this is black G10. That is the scales in, um, that this has. But you do have, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, liners inside. So you do have steel liners, which add to the rigidity of the knife itself. Feels really, really nice in the hand. The G10 is actually contoured very nicely. So it comes around very nicely. No sore spots or anything like that whatsoever on this knife. It's just a very, very classy looking knife. Now, as I mentioned, this does have the crossbar locking mechanism, um, which a lot of people are very fond of. I really like it because it makes the knife very, very fidgety. So um, I do include that crossbar um, style locking mechanism. So um, the closed length on this is 4.2 inches. So again, it's um, it's what I would say a um, starting at the medium range of knives. So again, it's not a small knife, but it's not a full medium sized knife. It's right there. So you can see I can wrap my whole hand around it and it almost disappears in my hand. Again, 4.2 inches on there. You do have a couple of thumb studs that are gonna allow you to go ahead and deploy the blade. As you deploy the blade, it flies up very, very nicely. Very good lock up thanks to that um, crossbar lock there. Um, no blade play whatsoever. And the blade is razor, razor sharp. We'll talk about the blade in a little bit. A couple more specs. Um, the open length is 7.4 inches. So uh, again, you have a, you know, a, a nice size blade there. The blade is approximately 3.2 inches. And it is what they call a drop point harpoon blade. Now, when I saw the blade, that's what sold me on the knife. I love the harpoon style blade on knives. I think it looks really, really awesome. What it does is it gives you a little bit of a thumb ramp right here as well, thanks to the way that that harpoon is designed, which you do have some jimping right there. So if you do need to choke up on the blade um, in order to, you know, um, you know, like heavier cutting tasks, you know, or if you're cutting through tougher material or something like that, that thumb ramp right there with the jimping uh, together locks your thumb right in there and the knife is not going to move and it's very, very comfortable. So, um, all right, getting back to the blade itself. Again, this is a uh, drop point harpoon style blade. Um, you do have the cutout right there, which is really nice. Um, and then you have a pretty nice stout tip. So perfect for piercing, cutting and stuff like that. 
Uh, as far as cutting goes, uh, this is a what I, I mentioned that I wanted to go ahead and pick up this knife as well because your blade steel, let me see if I can show you guys on the blade, it's very, very faint right there. It is M390. So again, I mentioned I might have one, maybe two other knives with M390. So when I saw that this particular knife was coming in um, with M390 and that harpoon style blade, I definitely knew that I had to go ahead and pick it up. I just think it looks really, really awesome. M390 is obviously a great steel, performs very well, cuts very well, and again, razor, razor sharp, right out of the box as knives should be. You do have the Asher Knives logo printed on the blade right here as well. And then again, just on the other side, you just have the M390, which is your blade steel right there. The uh, crossbar lock here, as I mentioned, makes the knife very, very fidgety. You can um, either grab it from one side or both sides, and it closes very easy. So as I mentioned, you can go ahead and use those stump studs to open up the blade uh, or deploy the blade, um, or you can actually just use the crossbar to deploy the blade as well. So very, very fidgety, um, you know, depending on how you want to do it. So you can go ahead and use the thumb stud. Uh, you can actually sometimes reverse flick it, as you guys can see there, I'm not very good at it. So I miss it once in a while, but I got it that time and then close it back down. So uh, as far as the weight goes, again, 2.96 ounces. Very, very light for an overall length knife of 7.4 inches, which is great. And it's due to um, obviously the um, G10, but obviously the stainless steel liners on the inside as well. Uh, as far as the clip goes, you do have a wire pocket clip right here. It is not all the way up as far as deep ride, but it's, you know, far enough up there that you, you know, you don't have to worry about too much of the knife peeking out of your pants. Um, it is um, set up right now for right hand tip up carry, but you can go ahead and swap it for left hand tip up carry as well. So if you are a lefty, you do have that thumb set on the other side and you can go ahead and deploy the blade. And because the crossbar lock is ambidextrous, you can go ahead and close the blade as well. I'm not left-handed left -handed at all, and you guys saw that I could do it there. Last but not least, you do have a nice G10 backspacer here, which wraps all the way around uh, to the front right there, so um, that is really nice. But for the most part, it stops right here, so you do have a lot, uh, the majority of the back portion right here is exposed, so if you do need to clean out any lint or anything like that gets in there, you can go ahead and do that. There is no lanyard hole on the knife. Again, I'm not a big fan of lanyards on all of my knives, so um, the fact that this one ha doesn't have it doesn't really affect me one way or the other because I probably would have not been putting a lanyard on this knife. I think um, I would have liked to keep that kind of sleek look that it has, especially with that um, deployed harpoon blade, just the way that it looks sleek back all the way thanks to that Contour G10 handle, and it fits really, really nice in the hand. Um, I think this is a, a great, great, um, what they call final upgrade version of their Sentry design. Asher Knives did a really, really awesome job on this knife. So uh, again, if you guys are interested in seeing some of the other videos, I will link them um, you know, either on top or uh, at the end of this video, you can go ahead and check out um, those videos. I do have a knife playlist on my uh, account. If you wanna see other knives and stuff like that, you can go ahead and check out that playlist. Maybe I'll leave a link for that at the end of this video as well. But for the most part, I think um, if you guys are not familiar with Asher Knives and you kind of like what you see, I would definitely recommend that you check out their social media accounts, especially their Instagram page, because they're always posting pictures. And then if you go on their site, you can actually sign up with your email and you'll be alerted way in advance when they're going to be releasing um you know some of their styles now uh the one thing that i do not normally like to mention in a lot of my videos but i did want to mention it on this one because these things change is price so this guy right here was 95 dollars 95 dollars for a harpoon blade m390 steel uh really awesome design uh crossbar style locking mechanism that performs very nice with the wire clip i think is a steel for, for what you're getting, it's a great, great buy. So again, this is what you could probably, um, if you check out their site, you'll see that a lot of their knives are within that range. So if you wanna pick up something nice, something different than what you normally see out there, uh, I would definitely recommend that you check out Asher Knives. So there it is. That is a look at the Asher Sentry 3.0 from Asher Knives. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.